you can just imagine a tractor trailer coming over a hill and ending into a, a stop stop vehicles and that that was happening nationwide so there's a big was a big effort to start looking into smart work zones hello my name's dan smith i'm traffic management operations engineer for highway safety and traffic division smart work zones is just a a technology being placed inside a work zone to provide updated real-time data to our traveling public that are coming up to our work zones and letting them know what to expect what's coming up into the area. The difference between a smart work zone and a standard work zone is the standard one you have orange and black signs to come up and they're telling you just road work ahead, right lane, left lane close and, uh, and then also merge over and then the channelization will get you through. This, the smart work zone part is actually up when the queuing is past your orange signs and people don't know what's happening, this is where the smart work zone really helps out a lot. And that helps you know there's some concern coming up and it will let you know, it's, hey, stop, be prepared. There's speed warning, which is a, a lot of times on a trailer and there's a speed limit sign of what the work zone is, it's static. And then when you're coming up to the trailer, it starts blinking what your speed is. To help, if you're going over, it helps you slow down to the, what the work zone is. Another one is a queue warning. It's when the traffic backs up past your orange signs and it gives you information of like prepare to stop, to slow traffic or stop traffic. Just something to let you know what's, what's coming up. We were having a lot of severe or catastrophic crashes because traffic would back up past the signs and not knowing what, what to expect, you can just imagine a tractor trailer coming over a hill and ending into a, a stop, stop vehicles. And that, that was happening nationwide. So there's a big, was a big effort to start looking into smart work zones way back in the late 90s. And then with technology keep developing and developing, it's just gotten better and better and uh, where we're at now. Just three weeks ago, the Improve I-70 team awarded the first project from Columbia to Kingdom City. And part of that award is we really wanted a focus to be on how is traffic gonna handle while these significant improvements are made. I'm Eric Kapinski, I'm with MoDOT, and I'm the Improve I-70 Program Director. Through the design build process, we got a lot of innovation from our industry partners. And one of the key components will be, there's a smart work zone aspect that the winning team proposed and, and is gonna deliver. And with that, there's gonna be 10 changeable message signs where as there's differentiations in speed or slowdowns in speed, there'll be automatic messages that start to pop up and appear for travelers that are going east or westbound Interstate 70. And so there'll be a number of sensors that identify the real-time speed and those messages that alert drivers that there is a differential in speed or there is a reduction in speed that's significant. They'll really help drivers identify that and, and react to that real-time. So with the Columbia to Kingdom City project, our contractors committed to working in three to five mile sections. And what that will do is that will allow them to, to take more manageable bites of that, that first project. So there won't be a 20 mile long work zone, but there will be kind of isolated three to five mile sections where they're really getting aggressive with, with some of the lane shifts and, and adjustments. But there has been a commitment to keep two lanes each direction open during peak hour travel. So in those three to five mile sections where there is significant construction taking place, that's where that focus of that, that smart work zone will take place um, and, and to better identify to those drivers, hey, you're approaching an area where construction is, is being a little more aggressive in that section. We're really happy that we're gonna have this for our first project on I-70. We really think this is gonna help the traveling public as they travel through this 20 mile section of, of work zone. We see TISMO as a necessary feature for, for all of MoDOT's projects, in particular I-70, which is behind us here. We want these work zones to be as safe as possible. So that, that work zone um, feature, having TISMO be a part of that solution is, is critical. We need to have every tool available and, and we certainly plan that for, for this I-70 program.